Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a reading for Taurus. Welcome, Taurus. So I'm going to start with a animal power animal oracle card. Seal, imagination. Immerse yourself in artistic and creative expression. I'm getting. Taurus, that right now you are in a very creative space. And that's why Seal is coming in saying, uh, I, I get that to even have some fun. You know how Seals um, on land are kind of cumbersome and waddle or kind of frunk, 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 frunk. <laughs> I don't know what's that scooch along and then when they're in their water when they're in their element in that creative space they can glide and move effortlessly and easily so whatever you are creating create from a space that's your your water something easy. Imagine it as easy and flowing. So, ah. all right. So this is a general reading. I'm not tuning into one person's specific energy. I'm tuning into the collective. So take what resonates and leave the rest. So in the past Taurus, you were in the energy of four pentacles in reverse. There was a letting go in your past, letting go of something um, letting go of something that I feel at, at some point you were clinging to. Might be a partnership. That's what you you let go of a partnership. partnership where um, you really planted seeds in earnest in hopes that something would grow, that it would become something satisfying and fulfilling, but nothing bloomed, nothing, it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to, or it ran its course. And um, the connection ended in a, a three of swords situation. Uh, third party. Okay. All right, I've got a story here that's... Um, There's a connection and on some level, someone let go of the connection, maybe emotionally before anything else. Maybe they, they checked out of a, a connection that had never really flourished, that had stopped growing, that wasn't productive. And so somebody in that connection, instead of just, you know, acknowledging this and being honest that, you know, it feels like it was instead of acknowledging this isn't going anywhere, I, I want to release this connection. Instead, um, someone entered into a third party created a lot of heartbreak like it wasn't hurtful enough to be like wow this is this sucks this isn't going anywhere but instead of, of dealing with this someone entered into a third party situation because they thought that would give them the victory that they wanted that would give them a, a really quick way because this is difficult energies it's um 
exhausting and uh, unfulfilling, disappointing, but instead of dealing with it, third parties so they could have like an immediate public victory. I'm doing great. I'm fantastic. Life is a great, amazing for me. All right. So Taurus in present energy, you are in 10 of pentacles in reverse. So 10 of pentacles upright speaks about total satisfaction, complete fulfillment financially. This is kind of like legacy energy. This is um, having complete stability and security in your environment. A lot of growth potential. There are a lot of children. So building something that's lasting. And so in reverse, it's a lack of stability, a lack of foundation, a lack of um, success, stability, security. So someone is experiencing that uh, a complete lack of stability. Again, it's about a pentacle, page of pentacles in reverse. Someone would, thought that there would be um, an offer, something very tangible, something material, physical, and there's not that offering. The opportunity that they thought was going to be there is not, it's not coming. Seven of Swords in reverse talks about um, coming clean. Something coming out about sneakiness. Something coming to light about someone sneaking around. So I'm guessing that this has to do with whoever created the third party situation so they could just have immediate success and victory in current energy, they're experiencing an incredible lack of security. They really thought that they would be better off, more stable, and, and their blessings would come. They'd have just, just a windfall and they're not getting even another pentacle. They're, it's just nothing is coming in. and But what is coming out is the deception, the sneaking around from the past. Someone's sneaky behavior. I get it. This doesn't have to be, I mean, it's kind of late to be saying this, but this does not have to be a heart, a romantic partnership. This could be even business or someone going behind your someone's back and being sneaky. It's probably a little too late in the game. But this more about ooh. <laughs> okay. So The fact that it's coming to light, the sneakiness is trapping this person who's already feeling fearful and unstable financially, foundationally. Now we're, it's, it's really getting in their head. It's putting them, trapping them in a mental prison. prison. I, I don't think that they really saw in the past. And even now it feels like they have blinders on to, you know, to this leap from three of swords to six of wands. 
this seemed very logical back here because of how disappointing this connection was to have a three of swords situation and just hop right to a public victory. And I think it's very confusing because they have to completely acknowledge what's going on here to get themselves out of this mental prison. I really think they they lied to themselves and thought that what they were doing was a okay. Is it, there's it feels like they have got a lot of justifications um, for their behavior. Uh, and so it's not allowing them to really grow and it's keeping them trapped in a mental prison. In the center of your reading, Taurus, is the Fool card. The Fool card is the beginning of a new cycle. I love this Fool card. In this Fool card, the illustration is of a girl and it's not just stepping out, it's back, just leaning back, trusting so much, like a trust fall into the universe. It's really beautiful. All right, so let's clarify what the message from the higher self Something about a, a new beginning is at the very center of your reading, Taurus. A new beginning. I feel like um, someone's ignoring an, an opportunity. A gift. Some type of potential. I, I get the feeling that this is an opportunity from someone's higher self. A gift of emotions. I, I get the feeling that whoever I'm talking about in this reading, that they're, um, they avoid emotions. They don't feel comfortable with emotions. And that's why they're in this four of cups. They're not accepting a cup of of emotions and it's keeping them from having a new beginning because if they if they have if they accept this cup of emotions um whatever emotions have been bottled up i don't see any cups until here no cups it's been all about finances mental being in the mental body and passion following your passion but it's taken until now to finally get to emotions and i feel like that's what's missing to enable whoever this is about to to take another step to take a step and start a new cycle because if i feel like there's this door of emotions like it's been blocked because if if you start feeling emotions you'd have to not just feel the disappointment of feeling a relationship come to an end but you'd have to also process hurting others so you could have a quick victory so you you didn't have so someone didn't have to worry about this i feel like this inability to tune into with it tune into their emotions is what's causing the foundation of this instability and karma karma the truth coming out there is a potential for a new beginning but it it's it feels like there's no one outside of this person blocking it, they're choosing to block a new beginning. Um, I feel like a stubbornness, um, bullheadedness, which kind of makes sense with the Taurus reading. Yeah, and feeling really defensive, 
feeling really defensive and um, justifying. I feel like this person is their own worst enemy. They're doubling down. They're angry more at being caught at, at that the sneakiness is coming to light. This is someone who who blames others and projects blame and um, just has a real difficult time. I'm just getting a real Peter Pan vibe. Someone who ha uh, has kind of a stunted um, growth, arrested development. They've stayed in like a high school college mode. They haven't matured. They haven't, um, they definitely have some ego issues. The challenge right now, Taurus, is the moon. Secrets, yeah. And secrets, what's hidden is the challenge, as well as emotions. Look how this, in this picture of the moon card, this woman is deep, in the water, deep in her emotions. Again, no gender and tarot. So it feels like the challenge for whoever this is about is um, being comfortable, getting acclimated to being in their emotions, opening up and allowing them to feel the, their emotions, letting the emotions come to light, and also allowing secrets to come to light, taking responsibility for whatever is done in the dark comes out with the light. Not also a challenge not to keep adding and and adding and creating more lies and more secrets. Yes, the challenge is to be in King of Cups mode, to be a master of your emotions, to not avoid, numb out, or try to run away from emotions, but to learn how to be stable and work with emotions. I feel like um, one of the reasons why whoever this is about, why um, emotions are so difficult, there feels like there's a picture that emotions make you weak. And so there's just uh, an avoiding of emotions instead of learning how to work with emotions. Uh, there's also emotional manipulation here. And so um, maybe there's also another picture of, I can't be manipulated in my emotions if I don't, if I don't even have access to my own emotions. <laughs> and there's an, it's making this person very unstable, unable to, balance really simple things in life and again the pentacles it's it's making them feel very unstable there's an inability to alchemize i feel like um since the seal card came up and the the first message was how to create i feel like this person is trying to create um, and manifest from a space of being out on that, on, on land, that <laughs> the scooching along. And it's just making their life really difficult because that is not the easiest place for them to maneuver. And they keep creating from that difficult space instead of getting into a smooth gliding water space and creating from there. I 
think what would help this person get into the water and create from a smoother space, you have to acknowledge that you're on land. You have to acknowledge the truth of what got you to where you are and, and really um, see things clearly. And so what I'm getting here is this would be akin to the magician in reverse card. Someone who's been manifesting from a, a from darker energies. And so the suggestion is to take accountability, to acknowledge what's been going on and their actions, to learn how to work with their emotions and find balance. So, all right, Taurus, that is your reading. I hope this was helpful. Please let me know in the comments if you found this reading helpful. Consider giving this a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button so I can meet you back here again. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.